guys, it's time to make a spread to use instead of mayonnaise on sandwiches. I'm getting this recipe out of this book, this starch solution, and it is an artichoke spread. Uh, real simple ingredients and uh, no fat. Um, so let's get started. I'll show you what we got in it. Um, again, simple ingredients. I'm using two 15 ounce cans of artichoke hearts rinsed and drained, and also a 15 ounce can of white beans. Um, Great Northern beans is my favorite, and those are gonna be rinsed and drained as well. I'm gonna be using some tamari sauce. You can use soy sauce and about one tablespoon. And then a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper, or what I'm using is um, paprika. Okay, and then you're going to use four tablespoons of lemon juice, two garlic cloves, which are going to be minced, and then about four scallions or more if you want. Let's get started. All right, so I found out I needed an extra half of a lemon to get just about all the lemon juice that I needed. So one and a half lemons gave me just about four tablespoons. And my favorite chef, um, Jose Andreas, opens up his garlic this way. He just smashes that skin right off, and the garlic pops right out, or something like that. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not as good as he is, but it does get it out easier. All right, I'm going to be using this handy little um, mincer that I got from Sir La Taube. And you just kind of rock it on top and it minces right through. You don't actually ever even have to touch the garlic. Just take a little knife and, you know, scrape it all out. Uh, but it's so easy. It just pushes it right through. And it's stainless steel all the way through. So look at that. It makes it, you know, easy work. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get my knife. I'm going to scrape it off. I'm putting everything into a food processor and that's what I'm going to use to cream it up. Okay, so I guess if you want to get the onions and garlics off your hands, you can use a little silver soap like this. This is made out of um, stainless steel. Or I guess you could just wash this little doohickey off and wipe your hands on this, right? And that should take the smell off. So even something like this would work really well. Okay, next step, what do we have here? I'm gonna be putting the lemon juice in here. I'm gonna put in all of my little ingredients in here and then I will start chopping up those scallions here in just a second. Um, I got a little bit of the uh, tamari sauce in here so it kind of stuck. Okay. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to chop this up. Now, since we're putting it all in the food processor, yes, that can do the work, but it really helps to not have the big pieces floating around if you get them as small as you can before you throw them in there. I really do want it to be a smooth spread. I don't want it lumpy and bumpy or anything like that. All right, let's get it creamed up, and that's what it looks like. Now, the texture to me still looked a little off, it didn't look as creamy as I wanted it to look. It looked like it was a little bit of water, a little bit watery. So I needed something else. I think what I'm going to do is get some nutritional yeast, maybe put about a quarter cup in there, and then I'm going to throw it in the Vitamix, uh, a blender, and then um, that'll cream it up a little bit more. Okay, so here's my nutritional yeast and I've got a quarter cup of that. Now, since I'm on the starch solution um, and I'm not you know, really eating meat right now, um, it really helps to have some of those B vitamins. Look at that, it looks really creamy. And actually I tasted this and it tastes really good. So I'm gonna stick it in a jar here, pop it in the fridge, put a little label on it, and I can use that for wraps and sandwiches this week. So right now I'm gonna put a little bit on some corn tortillas with some grilled veggies, some salsa, um, some pinto beans, and some salad. And I'm just gonna dress it really simply. I'm gonna use a little bit of um, the Bolt House balsamic vinegar here. Now, when I looked at this, you know, it's only, what, I think one tablespoon for one point. And I was afraid because it had olive oil on it. I'm not supposed to be having olive oil in a starch solution, but when I looked at the back, it said zero fat. So I think that the olive oil is more of a trace amount, so I'm not going to worry about it. It's very good. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use it while I'm on the starch solution. Okay, we have the boys talked me into climbing up this little mountain here at the park. 
and so it was a little tough with my knee, but um, but we did it. Hi guys. Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. We even found a fossil. It's yeah. very cool. Oh, yeah. Actually, Timmy found it. Is yeah. it a real fossil? I don't know. It looks like it's got some marks on it. We'll take a closer look at home. It looks. It's got some irregular like marks that look very symmetrical, like maybe it was from a bone or something like that. So we'll take a look at it later. It's been a fun morning though, it's a perfect day. Yeah. And it would have been a crime not to go out on a perfect day. Yeah. Hey guys, okay, so I am home now. <sighs> Finally, um, it was such a, an ordeal today. Okay, so this is what happened. Um, as we were coming down from the mountain, um, you know, you were kind, were kind of on a steep hill. So I felt my uh, tendon in the back of my knee, you know, whatever it was, just really under pressure. And I thought, oh, this isn't good. And so I was being really, really careful. But at some point, you know, you're standing on some rocks and the rocks move, kind of slide. And as that happened, I heard like a really big pop. And then, um, and then my leg went out and I went down. And uh, so the kids, you know, got scared and they ran up and they're like, mom, you know, what's going on? I said, it's okay, it's okay. And, um, and I was sitting there and I said, let's just sit here for a minute. And, but I knew it was bad. Something really wrong happened. And uh, there were some people walking by, and I was there. I was sitting, you know, on the hillside, trying to look natural, like this is what we wanted to do—just get up on the hillside and sit. <laughs> and but finally, when everybody left, and I tried to call my husband, he was like, you know, on the other side of the city. And uh, so I said, "No, we can get to the car. It's fine." You know, we and the boys were so sweet. They got on either side of me, and they just, you know. <laughs> let me just hop on one leg and rest on both of them and they got mom to the car and thank goodness I drive with my right foot and um, I know you know I know I know I was being safe though I've done this before where I had to drive with one foot and um, we got home we weren't very far from home at all but or uh, we were on our way home and, and uh, I knew something was really really wrong um, and so I called my husband and I said, I'm just going to drive over to Quick Care. You know, if you could meet me, you know, that'd be great. And he did. He met me uh, before I even asked. You know, he was already on his way. And um, so he took over the boys and I went in and they said, um, the doctor said, well, if you were already being treated for a torn tendon, my guess is that you probably just tore it off and it's going to need to be reattached. But uh, they took an x-ray. Of course, the x-ray shows up okay because that, I mean, you can only look at the soft tissue damage on MRIs, but you can't get an MRI until you get an x-ray. So I got that just for the, um, you know, to check that off the list. So I take that back over to the orthopedic doctor who's going to be seeing me tomorrow and um, tomorrow morning. And hopefully we can get to the bottom of what is going on. Um, but anyway, for now, I've got this huge, ugly brace on my leg and I'm on my crutches. So that's the way it's going to be for a while. And I just have to deal with it. All right, guys, just wanted to let you know what was going on. It's a bit of a drag that, you know, it ended this way. But um, sometimes that's life, you know, things happen. So um, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.